In this video, we are going to look at data tables and how we can use data tables to perform simple one and two way sensitivity analysis in Excel. And so to begin with, we have a very simple profit and loss statement. So assumingly, we are looking at a business opportunity in which uh, we are selling some units and we have to anticipate how many units we will sell. We have some production costs. And we consequently have revenues depending on how many units we sell, as well as the price of a unit, and we make some profit or loss. Depending on what? Well, we actually have the list of parameters up here, which will tell us what's the price of a unit, what's our production cost per unit, and how many units might we sell. And the profit and loss statement basically is a consequence of whatever value these different variables take, whatever, whatever value these different parameters take. And let's just go through this profit and loss statement real quick. So we have unit sales, which are set up here. We have production costs per unit, which times the unit sold will lead to a certain amount of production costs for us. And we have revenues, which are the price per unit at which we're selling the unit for times the amount of units we're selling. And then at the end of the day, revenue less costs will result in some profit or loss. The question now, and this applies to much more complex models and cash flow analysis in the same way, is what happens if price takes a different value from five? We can set price, assumedly. So if we could set price and sell the same amount of units, what would happen to profit? So as you may assume, let's say we increase price, we can just do this by plugging it in and we consequently make more profit. Now, if costs would go up, so let me bring price back here to our baseline, which was five. If costs go up, as you may assume, we make less of a profit. So if we wanted to get an idea of how our profits are affected by different costs, as well as different prices, as, as well as possibly different amounts of units that we sell, we could do this now by simply plug and play with a lot of different numbers. So we could just plug in different numbers and see what happens to our bottom line. At the end of the day, this can be very inefficient because if we don't only want to look at a couple of different prices, let's say four, five, and six, and we just write down the results and profits, it becomes inefficient and messy. And basically the good idea is to create a data table and we can do this in the following way. So let's say we are interested in the effect of different prices um, and the effect that they have on our profit. So we could say we're interested in the effect of varying prices and the different prices that we could want to look at, we will have to add them here in this column, could be any price between 1 and 10, for instance. So I'm just going to fill this and we have 10 different prices. Now, <clears throat> what we want to get is basically the result in terms of profit for all of these different possible prices. Instead of plugging them in manually and recording the profits. And in order for Excel to do this for us, all we need to do is create this column of different prices. And up here, we need to refer to the variable on which we would like to see the effect of these different prices. In this case, it's profit. So up here, we need to reference to our profit cell 
which will tell Excel, please check for the effect of these different prices on this profit cell, on the amount of profit in cell B10. Once we did this, we would basically like to get the different profits for the different prices in this column, and it's empty. The way we get Excel to fill this for us is by, to, is by selecting this whole array and in the case of Mac going into data what if analysis and as the name suggests it's going to allow us to fill a data table with the results of different what ifs so what if price is one what if price is two what if price is three so we select the data table and it'll ask us for row input cell as well as column input cell. What does that mean? It essentially just means what are we varying? What is changing of what do we want to see the effect on profit? And in this case, it's prices. And basically, we have them in this column. So what's varying in the data table are prices in this column. So we need to select column input cell and what is actually changing is this price parameter so we select this cell so that Excel knows that these different prices are supposed to be plugged into this cell so that it can record this profit and fill this table for us and basically that's all we need for now and we get all of the different profit values I'm just gonna format this as dollars and here we go. So what this shows us, let's look at what we have here, price of 5 resulting in profit of 2000. We can check this here, price of 5 resulting in a profit of 2000. And we can check if this works by, you know, checking, let's say, a price of 2. Price of 2 results in a loss of 1000. And this is exactly what we get here. And so we can color code this a little bit better you see this is actually what's varying and these are the results now another thing that we could do instead of just changing one variable at a time and see the effects of how changes in this one variable affect whatever we're interested in this is why it's called a one-way sensitivity analysis because we're changing one variable at the time, we can also check for the effects of two variables at the time. And this is called a two-way sensitivity analysis. And let's say on top of the effect of varying prices, I'm just going to copy this down here. And let's say the prices that we would want to look at are not 1 to 10, but only 1 to 5, for the sake of an example. This time I'm going to put them in this row and format this a little bit nicer. Okay, so we got different prices we would like to check. We also at the same time would like to check for the effect of the production costs. And specifically we would like to check values between, let's say, 1 and 5, likewise. And just to tidy this up. In this case now, as you may expect, what we're interested in is filling this array with the different profit realizations depending on different prices as well as different costs. So now we're not only changing price, but we're actually changing price as well as cost, and we would like to see the effect on profit. The only thing we need to do here is again reference to the output cell or the cell which contains 
the result that we're interested in and that is affected by different production costs and different prices. And that's once more B10 profit. Once we specify or set up the table like this, we again can simply select this entire array and again go back to the data table option and now we actually do have a row as well as column cell that varies and the column input cell this time which is the production cost is up here in B3 so these different values of the production costs will be plugged into B3 and the corresponding profit will be recorded and this time we also have something that varies in a row and that's the price so what we need to do is also specify the row input cell and that's up here B2 so while these different production costs are plugged into B3 these different prices are at the same time plugged into B2 and then we get the corresponding profit for all of these different combinations. So we click OK and we get our results. I'm just going to turn them into dollars once more. And what this shows us is what happens if we sell these units at a price of one if our cost is one well we make zero profit and what happens if we actually have higher costs as opposed to the price so if we sell below cost well we're making losses depending on how how big of a difference there is between price and cost so we get all of these different values and again it allows us to check for what will happen if these different variables take on different values what happens to our bottom line and the last thing I'm going to do we could of course do this also with um, this two-way analysis and it's called two-way once again because we're now varying two variables at a time we can craft these results and sometimes it's a little bit easier to look at these as well as identify the break-even points for instance by looking at them visually so we can just select this and insert maybe a line chart and this now gives us the result visually and what we see is that for different prices we have different realizations of profit now the important thing is that when we do this one way sensitivity analysis in which case we only vary the price it shows us that at a price of three we break even and a price of two we actually make losses that is because when we when we vary price and we create this one-way data table everything else in the model which is the production cost as well as the unit sales are actually held constant this is very important so that's why at a price of three, given that the production costs were three, we're actually just turning uh, even. So we're not making any losses nor any profit. Down here in the two-way sensitivity analysis, we actually do get to see the effects of varying prices when the costs also vary. So that's the added uh, amount of complexity that we get when we create this two-way table and that's basically how we can use these simple data tables to perform uh, a simple sensitivity analysis or what-if analysis with regards to how different parameters or variables or inputs affect whatever we're interested in in this case the effect of price and production costs on profit